Hi guys, Morty with Brian here, back with another custom review. And today we're looking at the Transformers Shatter Glass Megatron. Now, if you guys watched my top 10 customs video, you'll see that this is my number one custom. And I haven't reviewed it for some reason. So I was like, you know what, I, I should do that at the beginning of the year. <laughs> here he is, and it's actually a very simple custom. I really didn't do too horribly much to it. Or like, a ton. I only used three colors, even. The black, it's just, it's just black. <laughs> I use normal blue for one area, then metallic blue for the bits of metallic blue you see. Oh yeah, and for any area that's silver, fly aluminum. we we'll focus. Nope, okay. You just don't this today, camera. But yeah, you can see bit of the changes here from the Combiner Wars one, the Red Decepticon, Symbol Lair. All of this is black. These guns metallic blue. Back here you can see some black, some metallic blue. Maybe a little photo going on. There's on the left is the Combiner Wars one. So yeah. Everything still works here. You can still rotate this, just you gotta lift up the back of it. Otherwise it's gonna scratch the thighs. And the treads still roll. If I mention how much I love this tank mode, just quick quick side note. I love this tank mode. This is probably my favorite generation's tank to exist, and my second favorite tank transformer to exist. Number one is always gonna be 2007 Leader Class Brawl. That thing is just too much fun for it not to be. But I do love how functional this tank is. Just refreshing. Yeah, anyway, since this is a figure that it's several years old, and I'm, really, I'm not really going to bother with the transformation, so let's get him from his vehicle mood to his robot's mood, and I just really love how this looks. Again, quick aside, the Combiner Wars 1 on the left, and you can just see a lot of the changes here. It's a lot of like small changes, but they really work in the grand scheme. First things first, the head. So as you can see, I just painted the helmet black, and then for the eyes, it's where the normal blue came in. For the, oops, for the chest here, I did some metallic blue. For the buttons, and all those buttons too. Painted this all silver, that silver, a little bit blue, metallic blue. The shoulders here are actually painted entirely black except for this area, because on the original Shadow Glass toy, there's a little silver area on it. So just for the sake of accuracy, painted this one black, painted the inside of the arms silver, the thighs are black, and then I've already discussed that. But yeah, so why I did this is because the only mask, the only Shadow Glass Optimus Prime I had around the time was the... MP10 Shadow Glass Prime, which this figure, which this mold, of course, scales with that decently. So I bought it so that I could have a little bit of an antithesis between the two of them, have the nemesis going on because the only other Shadow Glass Megatron I had was the official, and it was a lot shorter, <laughs> so it did not work. But yeah, I think in that, and I, I think in that respect, this works really well. If you'd like a Megat if you'd like a Shadow Glass Megatron to go with that Shadow Glass MP Prime. That's the way to go. So yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say. So please be sure to check out my channel for more video and custom reviews. And please don't forget to subscribe. Also check out my Facebook and Tumblr. Links in the description below. And this is the 14th Prime. Signing out.